myself, Dr. Mahantesh K, Associate Professor, Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, SJBIT, Bangalore. Welcome you to this online session, video lecture of Python application programming as prescribed by VTU for eighth sem uh, for sixth semester students as a professional elective. Before I go to the syllabus, what is Python? So why do we use Python? And what is the significance of Python programming and the present industrial requirement? Python is a powerful programming language, which is ideal for scripting, writing codes, editing, and can be used for rapid application developments. Through Zango and Bottle, it can also be used for web development, interface with HTML and other API applications. Through Python, we can also communicate with Orange, SymPy and Numerical Python for advanced scientific and mathematical computations. We can also create GUIs like desktop graphical user interfaces and front end design using Pygame and Panda 3D. Pandas is for data manipulation or data handling, but Panda 3D is for graphical user interfaces. And pretty much we are going to use uh, Python for image processing applications <clears throat> when uh, we are going to explain a couple of concepts, syntaxes and other functionalities of Python. I will be dealing with image processing applications using Python syntax or Python programming. So these are a couple of Python applications which has been uh, taken from Dataflare research survey. Python widely covers different applications like web and internet development, desktop, GUI applications, scientific and numerical data processing and applications, software development, education, business applications, games and 3D graphics, network programming, database access. So you can find n number of applications, including these applications. We also have other applications like console based applications, audio or video based applications on images, enterprise applications, 3D CAD, CAD applications, computer aided design applications, computer vision like to code face detection, color detection, image recognition, object detection, classification, and so on. Machine learning, deep learning, these are a pretty interesting fields which are very hot topics during this situation, during the current industrial revolution. Robotics, industry 4.0 automation and all, web scraping, like you're trying to harvest or trying to do some uh, analysis of data from the websites or social media sites and other uh, feedback uh, oriented uh, customer websites and so on. Scripting, artificial intelligence, data analysis, the hottest of Python applications. So these are just a preamble and of course I would like to discuss a couple of deep learning frameworks out of these many applications I have considered deep learning for as an example or case study or use cases for a couple of my Python programming uh, learning of this concept. So uh, these are the deep learning framework and yes, this has been uh, introduced on the year 2018, 1920, 2021 and onwards due to this pandemic situation, we have not come across uh, some uh, impactful surveys been conducted by Jeff Hall uh, on deep learning frameworks, but looking into this previous data, what we have on the framework power scores, we can see 96.7% of TensorFlow, Keras, PyTorch, Cafe Theano, MXNet, CNTK, Deep Learning, Cafe2, Chainer, FastAI, and other frameworks. Okay, 
So I would prefer TensorFlow, Keras, PyTorch, and uh, uh, fast AI and deep learning for J frameworks for you guys so that you can excel or you can become expertise in one of these framework before you complete your course. Okay. And coming to uh, the job listings, it's a pretty interesting uh, data or the survey which has been conducted by again Jeff Hall. Uh, depending upon the frameworks and the mentions in the job listings, like we have uh, pretty good consultancies or agencies on online job listings, postings or online job listings, Angel List, Monster, Simply Had, Indeed, and LinkedIn. We could see a lot of communication or a lot of uh, things are happening on this particular uh, uh, frameworks like TensorFlow, Keras, PyTorch, of course, has got uh, has consumed the maximum amount of mentions and in the online job listing. So with this, we could understand like we have a better opportunities with respect to Keras and TensorFlow models. If you can come out with the uh, with uh, analysis or exploration and exploitation and trying to use a couple of functions, methods, methodologies, or um, uh, applications uh, or building applications from these two models, it would be very much beneficial for you people in future applications or future industrial requirements. And uh, we have CPU, GPU, and TPU uh, just for the sake of uh, processing. Um, like since we are dealing with the data, so the data dimensions varies from one cross one to CPU, GPU, one cross N, TPU, and cross N data unit. CPU handles 10 operations per machine cycle. Likewise, GPU 10,000 and TPU 1,28,000 of operations per machine cycle. So this is just in order to give a, a fair idea about like if you are dealing with the data, what should be your processor and who are the uh, for what is the usage like uh, CPU is used for general purpose, graphical machine learning, efficient programming, uh, uh, problem solving, parallelization, uh, parallelization and um, general purpose programming, GPU is sufficient and TPU uh, released by Google, so TensorFlow model to address to the deep learning concepts or building deep learning models using TensorFlow processing units. Let us see who are the manufacturers. CPU, Intel, AMD, Qualcomm, NVIDIA, IBM, Samsung, and so on. GPU, NVIDIA, AMD, Broadcom Limited, Imagination Technologies with Power VR, and Tensor Processing Unit from Google. The Google are the only uh, is the only company who have, who have manufactured TPU and uh, which mainly basically deals with uh, deep learning TensorFlow models. So can be used towards the performance of data analysis or data processing. So here in my class, I am going to use a platform called Jupyter. Jupyter Notebook is a sheet which gives an opportunity to write or arrange your codes into cells and run it whenever you want. I would like to experiment more codes, try to implement or analyze the functionalities and syntax of Python programming using Jupyter Notebook. And Anaconda is a program that consists that which gels all the Python libraries, which concatenates, which uh, includes all the Python libraries, and it has got its own virtual environment repository where it can deal with data science and machine learning related applications. Along with Jupyter, we have Spider, which is an integrated development environment. We also use Spider, but it depends upon the application we choose relevant to our application. So Spider, Jupyter, both are included in Anaconda. Okay. Thank you guys. Thank you for uh, listening to this session. We shall have a syllabus and uh, module wise discussions in our next class. Thank you.